Welcome to the second devlog video for this graffiti themed indie game. I started to use the working title Interray Sports for now, but I'm not sure if I will keep the name for the game. Before we start, first a small disclaimer. Vandalism is illegal and train tracks are highly dangerous. This video and the game are no call for any illegal activity. Better stay at home, watch the video or play the game when it's released. I start with setting up basic stuff like a main menu. It's just very simple and the sub-menu for options is only a placeholder as you can see. When you start the game you just get into the sample scene. I also added a pause menu, it can restart the loaded scene and also gets you back to the main menu. Then I worked a bit on the spray painting system. A transparent layer of the piece shows now where you got to paint. I added small circle colliders to the piece. These check if you painted enough of the surface and in a certain threshold the graffiti is painted and it just fills the last blank spots of the piece. Then I also added a menu to choose the piece from which you want to paint. Right now there are only two different color versions of the same style. I had the small funny bug that you could change the already halfway painted graffiti, but that's fixed now. Later I want to add a black book with all your sketches where you have much more pieces to choose from. I'm thinking of a way in which you can alter your favorite styles as well. I painted a small second scene in some basic layout. The idea was a simple legal wall on the back of some garages where you can paint graffiti with no stress. The art for that was just made up quick and definitely is far from being final. I mainly did this to test the mechanics of changing between two places in the game. Getting everything to work properly with changing the scenes took me a little longer than expected. But now there are two scenes and you can walk between them. Then I started to work on the first non-player character. He's mostly standing around and from time to time walks a bit. I bought the dialogue system from Pixel Crushes and just implemented the absolute minimum. When you come close to the NPC, he's starting a conversation with you. I'll work on other stuff first before I come back to make more dialogues. I then painted some art for the main menu background. I tried a small parallax effect with it for fun, but I only put the image into the menu without the effect. I also played a bit with how the lighting system could work and look like. I tested this a small bit, but I will put it on my list of things that are to do a bit later. I will have to keep in mind that the lighting system should also have effect on enemy viewing distance and so on. Because I need to see how other graffiti styles will work in this pixel art look, I tried to recreate a few pieces. I want that the pieces look as similar to their real versions as possible. Still, I needed to make small adjustments to keep them readable in the small scale. If you got any feedback on these or anything else, feel free to leave a comment. If you're interested in follow-up videos, subscribe to this channel and perhaps also leave a like. Thank you very much for watching.